they were constituents seeking uh, medicinal uh, use of marijuana and they've, to help their children who suffer from seizures and epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Then there's been numerous other people who want to decriminalize it or completely repeal the prohibition. I've, I've got strong support, although there are some angry people um, and upset people, but uh, I've got, I think we're at a tipping point, and I've received, at least from those who've contacted me, overwhelming support for the bill. And the difference of the bill between other states is that this does not create any bureaucracy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't create any regulation as a sin tax. It's not necessarily a sin. Uh, you can eat too much food and, and, and not please God and be a glutton. You can drink too much wine and, and, and be a drunkard, but God doesn't do away with the food or wine. He just condemns uh, those uh, excesses. And so my bill would would simply repeal the prohibition of, for every cannabis marijuana statute in, Tex in, in Texas. And it, it, it mainly refers to it as marijuana only, I think. Uh, anyway, that's what I would call it. Well, we don't have regulations on uh, coffee or caffeine products, and uh, they're very addictive. I allow my children in their teens to drink coffee, but I don't uh, allow them when they're young, mm -hmm. and uh, and I only allow it a little bit uh, while they're still in puberty. Uh, but I drink it in front of them. I teach them about moderation and how it can be addictive and how it can cause a, a severe headache if you withdraw from it. And I think that's the approach that we need to take. Um, to this, remember it's a plant that God made and that he didn't make a mistake with it that government needs to fix. We just need to use it responsibly. Um, we can use the hemp for making paper uh, or rope. We can use its oil uh, for some people. That We can use the marijuana with the THC in it for treating PTSD of veterans whom we have 22 a day committing suicide. It can provide some calming influence and it could help people perhaps with cancer. Um, but, you know, what, what we've got to learn to do is respect each other's liberty. We've got to love not just my liberty, but my neighbor's liberty. And as long as they're not harming someone, uh, we should, government should not get in the way. Now, that doesn't mean that they may be um, uh, using something to excess, but sending them to prison or making it illicit just drives them to an underground culture and commerce. And what we need to do is lovingly engage them, be models to them, talk to them, be their friends, ask them to church, uh, but not send them to prison as long as they're not harming their, their neighbor. Well, I'd encourage you to contact your, your elected officials, and uh, a lot of them know it's the right thing to do, but they're scared. It's been yeah. such a hot potato. Oh, yeah. It, it's, you know, always been hang them high. I mean, we, we're holding people more accountable for marijuana than we are for sexual assault and human smuggling. Um, and we're putting all, much more resources to it. And it's just, it's just really sad.